Now, the way that we quantify this, okay, is by taking the cosine of this angle in here. And so we don't have to explain geometrically how you get the cosine. We'll just illustrate it intuitively here. The way that we get the cosine of that angle, okay, the cosine is going to be close to plus one if the angle is close to zero degrees. It's going to be closer to zero if the angle is around 90 degrees, or like in these situations right here, we would have zero, like zero correlation. And it's gonna be close to minus one if the angle is getting close to 180 degrees. Okay, like in this situation right here. This would be close to minus one, this is close to plus one. So now, the way that we calculate the cosine similarity Okay, is by basically multiplying a user's preferences for each of the movies together and adding those up. Okay, and so basically what we take is we would take A1 times A11, A2, okay, add B1 times B11, and then we actually divide by the length. So we divide by the length of each of these segments. Okay, and you don't really have to. Uh, know that part as much it's not as important but you need to normalize the value uh, to between zero and one like it is here or it's sorry to be between minus one and plus one like it is right here so we want it within this range and so then we divide by the length of the lines basically to get that to be the case so we divide by the square root of a1 squared plus b1 squared right because remember the movies form the lines and then uh sorry times the square root of uh, a2 squared plus b2 squared. And if we had more users, you, know, you would just add more terms, right? You just a1 plus a2, uh, a1 times a2 plus b1 times b2 plus c1 times c2 and so on. That would just be a1, b1, c1 here, a2, b2, c2 over here. So it's just simple extension, adding more users. But now the intuition is as follows, okay? If these are pointing in opposite directions, so if this one is positive, this one is negative, suppose, then this product is going to be negative. And same thing here, if this one's positive and this one's negative, then this product is going to be negative, right? So now this is going to be a very negative sum because we're adding two negative numbers. So it's gonna get closer to this minus one down here. If these are both positive on the other hand, then it's going to be very positive. So we're gonna go up here. If one of them's positive and one of them is negative, then we're gonna be getting closer to zero because there's not as much correlation, right? So both of these are positive. If all four of these, for instance, are positive, then we're good. Even if all four of them are negative, then we'd be good because negative times negative makes a positive. Negative times negative over here also makes a positive, and so on. We just don't want one term to be positive and one term to be negative because then in that case, there's no correlation, right? Like up here, we, had, we would have um, this one term being positive and the other term being negative. So now, Correlation, as we said, it could be near plus one, which means it's strong and positive, near zero, which means there's no correlation, or near minus one, which means it's strong and it's negative. So the key idea that you should really take away here is how to find this cosine value and what it means, right? If it's close to plus one, it means they're uh, strongly positive correlated. If it's close to negative one, it means they're strongly negative correlated. And if it's close to zero, it means there's really no correlation.